All right, good afternoon. How y'all doing? This quarter week before not the cleaning service. Out uh, here today is Friday, lovely Friday, man. Look like some rain starting to come in. Got a few clouds kind of forming over my head here. Uh, but today is a beautiful day. Today turned out to be a beautiful hot day, man. I say today about 98 degrees. You know, it's very warm out here. You know, very nice out here, man. The wind is kind of blowing, you know. Pretty nice day, man. So you know, I got a nice little load today. A nice little load. I weighed in about 1,200 pounds today. So a decent little load. You know, Friday is normally my day where I, um, I don't really do a lot of work. No, Friday the days that I kind of relax, get out here, whatever I can find, I can find, make a nice little check for the weekend, maybe to take the wife out, kind of enjoy the weekend and stuff like that. That's pretty much what Fridays are to me. You know, I take Fridays and kind of just kind of relax those days, man. Just whatever I can get, I can get. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I have on top of the trailer here. I got the excavator over here. Uh, sitting here, you know, he's sitting there relaxed with the AC on. Can't blame him. kind of warm out here. Um, you know, and you got, got some guys on the other side of me kind of get some stuff offloaded over there. So we're gonna kind of look and see what I got on the back of this trailer here. We're gonna see what these guys throwing out on the side of me over here. And we're gonna kind of walk around here so you can't find any gems out here at the scrap yard, man. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. All right, everybody, here we go. Here we go. You know, we got a guy on the excavator right here, man, here at SNA Scrap Yard here in Morrow, uh, off of Citizen Parkway, for those that like to know. I uh, shot a video yesterday, man. You know, I come out here and drop my scrap metal out here. I've been coming out here for years, man. I've been knowing these guys for years. Uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, some people say there's some better scrap yards around. I'm pretty sure it is, man. I just enjoy coming out here, man, because they treated me with a lot of love, a lot of respect. And I enjoy coming out here, man. I enjoy the staff. I enjoy the people. So I enjoy coming out here. So this is what I have. This is all I have today. You know, I got some aluminum chairs on here. I'm going to kind of rip some of this fabric off of here and um, get for the aluminum prices for it. Now, if you can look around here, uh, if you can get like these little plastic stuff off, I think uh, these little metal screws off, you get four of aluminum for it. You know, I'm just going to rip this stuff off and get whatever I can get for it. And then, um, you know, I got some little bicycles and little stuff like that. Got some little motors here on top of this dishwasher. I'm going to uh, take that stuff and take these little motors off here. Got some little aluminum pieces here. Um, I got a little beach chair. Yeah, a little beach chair. Somebody set on fire. They had a pile in the back of their house and set some scrap metal on fire. And, um, you know, I just kind of got that stuff up. So I'm going to take that as well. It's an aluminum chair right here. Let me see. What else I have? I have an AC unit back there. I'm going to take the motor out of it and the carpet out of it. Uh, I have a refrigerator bag, a refrigerator back there. Excuse me. I'm gonna take the motor out of that. And that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's pretty much it. What I have that I can really do too much breaking down. There ain't really too much around here, man. Uh, let me see. No stoves, none of that stuff like that. You know, little bicycles and stuff like that. And I used to sell this stuff right here. I no longer sell this stuff, man. Um, when I first started doing business uh, a couple of years back, man. My wife and I came up with the idea to. Um, we went on, what's the name of that website, man? It's kind of my mind, man. But we went on that website to um, do a lot of selling on there. You know what I mean? But, uh, this is the first time we was getting out trying to uh, sell on that website. Uh, the website, man, uh, since then, it's kind of went down with, with uh, the type of people going there and sell and stuff like that. It's not like it used to be. Uh, it's kind of kind of my mind. I'm trying to think of that website. But when it comes to my mind, man, I, I put it in the description. I'll put it on this, I put it on this page. But anyway, we used to sell a lot on that site. Uh, you know, a lot of small stuff. We try to sell bikes on that site. And, you know, we, we try to sell bikes uh, to people in different states and stuff like that. And I can tell you, that's a hassle, man, trying to uh, sell stuff and uh, trying to get that stuff shipped out with the U.S. Postal Service, man. I tell you, we had the hardest time with that. We had the hardest time with that, man. And uh, we weren't able to get people their products, man. So we kind of went down pretty fast, man. But you know what? You just try stuff and you learn from trying. And that's all it's about, man. You just kind of learn for trying. And once you get it, once you start figuring out and once you get it down, man, that's how life works, man. And that's how it works with being your own business. And that's how it works with scrap metal. And that's how it works with any other business, man. You keep doing something, you keep doing something to one day, guess what? You get good at it. And you get the hang of it. And you know your wrongs, you know your rights. And then you know which way to take it. And therefore, you know it, man, you become successful, man. You turn into a six figure business. And there you go. There you go. You got your freedom, man. So, yeah, this is the scrap metal load that I have right here on the back of this trailer. All right, these are what the guys threw out over here. So extra little stuff. You got some guys over there throwing off some nice little car parts, some motors and stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I got somebody on the side of me. He getting this stuff off loaded, man. And it's pretty much, let's walk around here and see what we can find at the scrap yard, guys. Let's walk around here. See what we can find. Any gems out here? Any gems? That's what we can find. Anything feasible. Yeah, anything feasible, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weight, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. See, do aluminum. Top end of aluminum. Uh, top end of aluminum motor. You know. You can take that. Uh, what you call it out and break it out. It takes some time. Some people, man, just don't want to deal with it, man. So it does all good. Damn, this whatever. Float your boats. You know. 
some other little stuff like that. Got some little tar converters and stuff like that, man. That's out here, man. You know, back in stuff like that. As we walk around, take a looking around and stuff like that, man. There ain't too much out here today, guys. You know, there ain't too much out here. You can tell me that today was a slow day at the scrap yard. I know they got scrap metal back there in the back back there. Today had to be a slow day because they don't have a lot out here. Normally, they have a lot out here where you can kind of pick and pour, you know, kind of dig through stuff and say, look at this, look at that. But, you know, it's not a lot out here, man. So, no, they're just today. It's Friday. A lot of people probably taking a taking a break tomorrow. They're having a party for us. You know, they're doing a party. You know, early in the morning. My wife and I will be here in the morning. You know, to kind of enjoy it. Uh, they got free food and they doing some giveaways. I'm kind of excited. I got some tickets. I got some more tickets to fill out. So I'm gonna get out the video, and fill these tickets off, and get the trailer offloaded. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So that's it for today, guys. That's it for today. TGIF, man. Today is Friday, man. I hope you guys truly enjoy your weekend, man. Be blessed this weekend. Be safe, guys. And I'll see you guys Monday morning. Peace, everybody. Enjoy your weekend.